Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. Customer states driver's side rear window won't roll down. The mechanic found all of these bullet holes on the driver's side and said when he removed the door panel, it looked like somebody had already replaced the window and window regulator, but left it unplugged. And this customer just bought this truck and brought it in for a service, but didn't notice they had different wheels on each side until the technician pointed it out. And this customer came in for an alignment and asked if it was okay for his rooster to stay in the truck. The shop said it was fine and the rooster approved all the repairs. Customer states they have no brakes. The technician found that the vehicle had no brakes in all four corners. Nineteen ninety nine Dodge Dakota. This truck just came in to get the tires balanced and the customer had no concern about his truck running rough. This customer came in for a tire repair. When the shop said he needed a new wheel, the customer said just fill up the tire, but the shop refused due to safety concerns and the customer got a new wheel installed. This vehicle came in to get an oxygen sensor replaced and the technician couldn't help but notice this underglow installation. This Jeep just came in for a service and had some interesting modifications done to it. And the technician also noticed the roof rack was only held on with zip ties. The mechanic servicing this Audi RS6 V10 twin turbo engine was surprised about these 90 degree sharp bends on this exhaust. Customer states they hear a noise from the rear. They also drove it in like this. Customer topped washer fluid off where the oil goes on their brand new 2022 Subaru Outback. Fortunately for the customer, the technician just had to do a couple of engine flushes and there was no damage done to the engine. This customer just bought this 2017 Chevrolet Malibu and brought it in as the airbag light just turned on. The technician found every single airbag to be blown and every SRS connector was cut and had a resistor wired in to try and track the airbag module. He also mentioned the dealership will most likely be buying back this vehicle from the customer as they had no clue about any of this and nothing was shown on the Carfax when the vehicle was initially traded in. Customer states right brake light won't work. Well, of course it's not gonna work when you're this low on blinker fluid. Gosh, come on guys. What everyone doesn't know is that when you're low on blinker fluid, it also affects your brake lights. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like or subscribing. Thanks for watching.